At Lloydminster and District Co-op, membership matters more. Because being part of a co-op means you're connected to something bigger than yourself. From long-held legacy by those who built our communities, to people you call family, friends, and neighbours. When you're a Lloyd Co-op member, you're an owner in a local business that prides itself on purpose alongside profit. You earn cash back, you help support causes that matter most, and you're building a better way of life for the next generation. Membership matters more. Local people. Local news and events. Local sports. Local matters. For all things Lloydminster and area, this is Live with Kurt Price. It's a Tuesday morning that feels like a Monday. Thanks for joining us here at the new Lloydminster Nissan. The new Lloydminster Nissan is now open on Highway 17 South in a brand new location. And we want you to come in and say hello. And uh, although the uh, parking lot is under construction, you're still welcome to come in and have a look at our tremendous selection. And right now there are huge savings here at the new Lloydminster Nissan, including $5,000 off a 2023 Armada. And you can get into a 2023 Rogue or Cash Guy at up to $2,000 below cost. See us today in our new location and stop in for a coffee and to say hi at the new Lloydminster Nissan. Well, last Thursday, we had the pleasure of visiting with Rob and Eileen Lindsay out on the farm near Green Street. And this week, we are headed out to another farm to deliver another great meal through Feed the Farmer. That means delivering a nice hot roast beef meal courtesy of our Diamond 7 Meats and Sobeys here in Lloydminster. We also thank Richardson Pioneer BASF and Invigor, the Tent Guys, Superior Water and Eggland for helping out with some fantastic meals. Uh, we just beat the rain on Thursday and it doesn't feel like the rain has shut off since but uh, I was talking to some of the guys including Brent from Richardson Pioneer and he tells me that seeding could not be going better. Uh, this rain may delay things a little bit but they'll take the moisture over anything but it has been ideal for seeding so far. So we've got Two more draws to make to deliver meals right to the farm and right out to the field. And also there's still two draws for $500 Diamond 7 Meats gift cards. So keep those nominations coming in for Feed the Farmer. We have a couple of guests joining us today. Aaron Bandola is here and Landis Graff is here with Integra Engineering to chat about their annual pancake breakfast, which is May 29th in support of the MS Society. Also joining us this morning is the Spring into Marshall Committee, which takes place on June the first. It's not just the name, it is Superior Water. Superior Water has two locations in Lloydminster and they're open on Sundays to make filling your big blue jugs a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier. And if you want great tasting water right from your tap, you can call Superior Water and ask about their under the sink reverse osmosis systems. Call 780-875-6636. I drink Superior Water because I like the taste. I believe it is Superior. Superior Water, open on 57th Avenue, Monday to Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays and Sundays, 10 to 5. Plus, of course, they have a coin-operated location on Highway 17 South by 7-Eleven. There'll be another Chase the Ace draw at the Lloydminster Exhibition tomorrow night. The deck is at 46 cards. It's amazing how quickly that happens. Time just absolutely flies. It seems like yesterday they just kicked off this round of Chase the Ace. The Jack Jackpot is already close to $33,000. Tickets start at just $10 each, three for $25, eight tickets for $50 or $2,400. Go to LloydX.com for all the details. If your name is drawn, you automatically win 20% of the weekly ticket sales and a chance to draw the ace. If you draw the ace of hearts, uh, you also win the growing jackpot, which also includes 30% of the weekly ticket sales. And of course, 50% goes to uh, upgrades at the Lloydminster Exhibition. Well, now the May long weekend is over, and it feels like summer is here, sort of, it is time to plant. Wendy Wickham of Wickham Nursery Land joined us last week with her planting and growing tips. And one concern she says she hears about all the time in this area are bugs and one particular bug that seems to be getting worse in our area. Everybody's having troubles with ticks. This is jungle juice. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So it's mosquito repellent, but it's also tick repellent. It's oily when you put it on, but I make uh, my staff. I make my staff use this. I haven't seen ticks at our place at all, but use this. 
It's so, to prevent ticks so when the kids, landing on you. when the kids go out, just put it on their legs even? Or? Yeah, and it's deep free. So it's, it's totally safe. Jungle juice. And with camping season now officially here, a lot of people will be heading out. Uh, Vince Scott is the owner of Midway Towing, and he told us he trains his drivers the best he can, and he is hoping that you can do your part to watch for emergency vehicles on the highway this summer. We, we train our people uh, to be safe out there, and that's ultimately that's the, the, be, the, the only thing I can give them, the best tools I can give them is, is you know, keep your head on on a swivel you're always watching you you got to be using your ears and and you know you you feel you sense it you know you feel what's going on you feel <laughs> i've been hit twice myself with mirrors and you you know what's happening i, I didn't i just, just twist myself enough still broke the guy's mirror but it, it would have been a lot they hit you with the mirror yes physically. like your body yes they stop forward. no they keep going they don't have a mirror anymore i've got their mirror this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are Kid Scotty days out at Kid Scotty Regional Park uh, with some fun stuff planned, including a golf ball drop from a helicopter. You purchase a golf ball for $10, and if your ball is closest to the pin when it's dropped from the helicopter, you win half the jackpot. There's also a pig roast, pancake breakfast, uh, fun and games, fireworks, bouncy castles, and a kid's market. Uh, they've got some stuff for seniors as well. Go to kidscottydays.com where you'll find all the details. Street Fest is June 8th from 11 to 4 in downtown Lloydminster. The day actually kicks off at 9 a.m. with a pancake breakfast at the Olive Tree that runs from 9 to 11. Pancakes are by donation. There's also wagon rides, bouncy castles, and a art market, farmer's market, and a whole lot more. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, uh, we're going to be joined by Aaron and Landis here, and they're going to tell us more about the MS Pancake Breakfast at Integra Engineering on May 29th. I'm Brian Zinchuk of PipelineOnline.ca. I used to be a pipeliner and I've spent the last 15 years reporting on energy in Saskatchewan. PipelineOnline.ca provides comprehensive coverage of light oil, heavy oil, lithium, helium, power production including coal, wind, solar, geothermal, natural gas and nuclear. There's a lot happening in Saskatchewan's energy sector and Pipeline Online is there for all of it. No one else comes even close. It's more than just taxes at LNA CPA. Assurance, accounting, retirement planning, estate planning, business consulting, financial consulting, farm program support, and bookkeeping. But yes, there is always taxes. The team at LNA CPA is committed to helping you achieve your best results and will be there to assist you every step of the way. LNA CPA, with offices in Provost, Vermilion, and Lloydminster. BioClean Disaster Services is committed, certified, reliable, and they'll help you get your life back. What does that mean? Well, BioClean Bio Clean Disaster Services is there for wind, fire, and flood disaster. They're going to take care of your home or your business and your belongings, but more importantly, they're going to take care of you and your family. That means regular updates on how a, your a remodel is going, and you can call BioClean Disaster Services locally at 1-833-246-8326. They are not only Lloyd Mister's only local disaster service, but they're also Lloyd Mister's bigger biggest disaster service, 1-833-246-8326. Well, happy to be joined here uh, by Aaron Bandola and Landis Graff. They are with Integra Engineering, and they've taken some time out of their day to uh, join us here this morning. So thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. So uh, let's start with uh, the pancake breakfast, uh, when it is, what time it is, and uh, all the, the little details. Perfect. Well, it's next Wednesday, May 29th, um, from 6.30 a.m. until 10.30 a.m. And it's in our Integra Engineering parking lot. And we're located at 1520 50th Ave, which is on the south end of town. And um, we are also adding this year um, a pickup option. So um, if, you're, um, if your place of work would like to pre-order and have a pickup so that your staff can enjoy a pancake breakfast at work, um, that's something new that we're offering this year. And it is $5 a plate, and that includes two pancakes and two sausages and refreshments. Um, and any donation more than twenty dollars, um, you will be entered into into a draw for some for some prizes. So. Do you know what those prizes are? Or? Well, so far we have uh, we have an Integra branded cooler that's going to be filled with lots of goodies. 
Well, that's perfect for summer. It's just Absolutely. around the corner. Maybe Nissan would throw in a car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about this yellow one yeah, right that, behind that us? That would here. do. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, uh, tell us why Integra Engineering does this. Like, they've done it for how many years? Well, we've done it for over 10 years, and we've done it with our sponsors, Ballon Valves. Um, and our staff, as well as Ballon Valve staff, have um, a number of people that have been affected by MS, and including Landis here. Yeah, I have a few immediate family members. My aunt, my dad, and my sister have all been diagnosed. So, something that's close to my heart, for sure. So if you want to pre-order, how do you do that? What do you, what do you got to do? Mm -hmm. You can go to our website, which is www.integraeng.ca um, back, um, backslash pancake breakfast. You can also find a link on our main website there. Um, there's a link there that you can do the pre-order. And actually our last day to pre-order is tomorrow, Wednesday, um, May 22nd. So if you want to get your orders in, make sure to do it before the end of day tomorrow. Does it feel like the pancake breakfast is getting bigger to you guys? Yeah, I think we've seen some incremental growth over the last few years, and we're really hoping with this pre-order um, that we're going to be, and talking to people like you, Kurt, that we're going to be able to take it to the next level. So, Yeah. How do you pre-order? What's, what's the, like, what do you just you just call? Oh, it's a form. If oh, There's a link okay. on our okay, website, it's and it's a form you fill out and saying how many you want and, and when you want to pick it up. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what am I forgetting? If you also just want to make a donation and aren't able to join us on the 29th, you can also find the link to our donation page on our website as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. who, do you, who do you, you mentioned that you have some, some help doing this. Mm -hmm. Is that what's growing it? Is that what's making it, pushing it to be bigger? Is And who helps you? Uh, well, Darwin from Ballon Valves has been helping us um, for, I think, the full, yeah. the 10 years that we've been doing this. Um, and again, like I said, they also have staff members that have been impacted by MS and are really passionate about this cause. And so he, they bring the big um, barbecues down and the griddles and we, they help us cook up the pancakes and sausages, so. You know, without an MS walk here, because we used to have the MS mm -hmm. walk here, uh, this seems like it's kind of replacing the MS walk, mm -hmm. doesn't it, a little bit? Yeah, and the funds, like, that's what we're raising funds for, is the MS walk, even though we don't have one here in Lloydminster, um, but that is where... The yeah, they have one in St. Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I think, the closest one would probably be St. Paul, mm -hmm. right? I know that one is coming up, not... Yeah, it's this weekend, it's this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's too bad, I really miss the walk. It was done so well. I wish we still had it. Will you guys have some information about MS at the Pancake Breakfast? Of course. Yeah, we're going to have Patty from um, our local area office that will be there to have uh, hand out information and answer any questions that people may have as well. Is there any I'm forgetting to ask you ladies about the Pancake Breakfast? I don't think so. No, no I... um, any support is welcome. And yeah, if you can't make it, we are by all means ready to take donations and they are tax deductible mm -hmm. i think it's over 20 dollars. over 20 yeah um so that's important too yeah thank you both appreciate it thanks very much thanks. Kurt. i told you it wouldn't be that painful yeah. didn't i no, no it was <laughs> great <laughs> we're going to take a break and when we come back we're going to find out all about what's happening in marshall with spring into marshall at jason Arden and associates cooperators we're proud to be a top rated local insurance company that offers flexible solutions and expert advice for all your insurance and investment needs We'll work with you to tailor your insurance specific to your needs, and we offer investment advice that always puts you first. At Cooperators, one of our core values is to give back to the communities that we live in. Thanks to the support of our clients in Lloydminster and area, in 2023, Jason Arden & Associates has donated $40,000 to local nonprofits, charities, students, athletes, and other special events. How does your insurance company support our community? How can you help support the oil and gas industry and jobs in Western Canada? The answer is closer than you think. Sell your scrap metals to PWM Steel. PWM sells scrap iron to Evraz, located in Regina. Evraz's number one customer is the energy sector, building pipes and plates for the oil and gas industry. PWM Steel is your locally owned metal recycler and steel service center in the area. Plus, they're a strong supporter of the community. PWM Steel, your top steel supplier for Alberta and Saskatchewan for 40 years. At Diamond 7 Meats, we work with local farm families to provide a high-quality product and a great selection for you. Try our mouth-watering Smokies, pulled pork, roast beef, and more. Made pure and natural with no additives or fillers. We offer custom processing, and our experienced team works for you to provide a selection of sausage, burgers, and jerkies made to your specifications. Take your grilling to the next level with a Yoder Smoker. Complete the grilling experience with Canadian-made, award-winning line of House of Q barbecue sauces. We're locally owned and operated, and we look forward to seeing you today. 
Wellings of Lloydminster is now offering one or two bedroom gorgeous villas for those 55 and over. If you haven't taken a tour yet, there's a perfect day to do so. June 1st, they're going to be having a, a barbecue and a chance for you to walk through one of their gorgeous villas. Those villas are tax and maintenance free. So what's that mean? It's all included. And if you are starting to get that feeling like you want more freedom or your health has become an issue, this could be absolutely perfect for you because you're still living an independent life. You can have a pet in one of these villas if you like. Uh, two bedrooms have garages and uh, in those garages are a perfect opportunity to not only park a vehicle but also a workbench and you'll have nice neighbors that uh, you can join uh, for a community fellowship because they're building a clubhouse right now and you get all the details on that June 1st at their barbecue but if you haven't taken a walk through yet you really should high ceilings walk-in shower in floor heating air conditioning of course call Darlene and set up a meeting 780-872-8537 uh, Darlene would be really happy Happy to uh, walk you through one of those beautiful villas at Wellings of Lloydminster, 780-872-8537. Well, we welcome you back inside the new Lloydminster Nissan. We're going to be talking about uh, spring into Marshall, uh, which is June 1st. And uh, it was at uh, Nissan, at the uh, other dealership, that I ran into uh, this lady right here. I'm going to call her uh, Mrs. Huber because <laughs> she, uh, she asked me if my dad's name was Gordon. So then mm -hmm. I knew something must be up. But yeah. uh, um <laughs> Uh, you approached me about spring into Marshall, yes. something I had no idea about. Well, so thanks for bringing it to mm -hmm. my attention. Our third year. Third year. I'm going to get you to introduce uh, these ladies that you brought. This is your entire committee? Yeah, well, we're missing one. Okay. So, two. Or two. Yeah. Our committee, spring into Marshall. This is Carrie, Hi. Alyssa, Juanita, and I'm Berna. Okay. So, Berna, tell us what spring into Marshall is all about. What, what do you guys do this for? Okay, well, we started a vision. Uh, to have a community garden in our community where everybody can come out and work together and produce a bunch of food and we're hoping to get uh, fruit trees and bushes more of them and uh, so people can just come down and help themselves and it's it's part of all of us what do you mean when you say help yourself like well, like if you want some cucumbers, you just go down and get some yeah, cucumbers? Yeah, Well, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the community, yeah. though. No, we'd let you have some. <laughs> and, you know, we, it helps out our local food bank. And uh, then we uh, would like to get the school involved with getting them trays and with lights and moving carts so they can plant and then come and transplant their plants into the garden. Okay, so in order to do this, you got to raise some money. That's you what this betcha. is all about, right? That's how our spring into Marshall came to be. So tell us about what 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 the day kicks off with. Okay, we start off this June first, a trade show from ten to four, and then we have uh, there's free games for the kids with prizes and a bouncy house, horse and wagon rides, and we have a blacksmith demo. Um, we have indigenous dancers coming in at four. We had them last year, they were awesome. Mm -hmm. And then we have the two car clubs, just cruising, Lloydminster Motor Club. And uh, then we have a dance later. The door is open at eight for the bar to kick it off. And then dance starts at nine and we have a live band called Slow Walk and Walk, Walter. <laughs> so how much does all this, how much does it cost? Mm, well, we have some lovely sponsors, which are uh, classic oil field, Force Industry, Honda, Mach 1, Velocity, Thermal, uh, Marshall, Branched, Synergy, Sega, and yeah. So tell us about that pan that, 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 that barbecue that you got. Oh, so yes. I got pancakes on the mind. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, we're but moving on to dinner. Yeah, but you got the barbecue <laughs> going on. Tell us about okay. that. Okay, we have a couple from Marshall. They have a son named Jesse. And um, he is involved with Drop Beat Studio in Lashburn. He dances. And he has a great opportunity to go to Florida for extra dance lessons and be a part of a Disney show. 
Yeah, it says here Jesse is a dancer with the Drop Beat Dance Studio in Lashburn. He was awarded a $1,000 scholarship to the 2024 Lightning Elite Dance Intensive uh, for his outstanding performance at the Heart and Soul Dance Festival held here in Lloydminster in October. And he's going to Disney World for a week of dance training with the top industry professionals. And at the end of that week, he'll perform on stage at Disney. Yeah. Which is pretty darn awesome. That's pretty awesome. cool Very for cool. A, a little, he's our little star in the community. Well, it's an opportunity mm-hmm. of a lifetime. Yeah, Absolutely. it is. Absolutely it, it is. is. Um, so when, we're excited about that. They're going to be doing barbecue all day and during the dance to raise funds for Jesse's So just by, just by a donation then? Yeah, well, they ha- they'll probably have their own prices, okay. but they'll have a donation jar. Okay. Um, Pets for Purpose is going to be there helping out with the kids' games, so donation jar there too and they'll be helping out with the bar later yeah okay tell us about that dance what do you got performing and what's the cost to get into the dance cost ten dollars to get in the dance and we have a we had slow walk in walter come last year and they were really great where is that where where do you guys hold that in the marshall rink right in, in the rink yeah in marshall. okay okay now the trade show what time does that open up at? that starts at 10 and runs till four and we have uh Cotton candy, soft ice cream, and face painting for the kids. Um, you guys think of anything? Oh, a giant bouncy house, too. Yeah. So, Kurt, come yeah. out and strut your stuff. <laughs> also, for the dance, we also have some DDs, or like a designated driver. Yeah, for um, a group of people that are going to be doing the designated driver program. That's Lloyd Minister Motor Club yeah. is going to be our designated drivers. So, they can, so people come from Lloyd can come in. Um, out to Marshall and come and have a good time and then get home to Lloyd safely. They'll drive you all the way back into Lloyd? Mm-hmm. You bet. Okay, yeah, that's and, and around awesome. the community as well, like around Lloyd as well. Right. Or around Marshall as well, sorry. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, mm-hmm. actually. That's the Lloyd Motor Club. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, you, you've got some yeah. tickets there. Yes. Tell us about these tickets. We have these raffle do. tickets, and they're 15 each or three for $40, and there's three really nice packages to... There's a barbecue griddle blackstone and it's got 137 utensils or something and a whole bunch of spices and sauces and and a couple of trays for the sauces right. and spices and, and it's valued at eight hundred dollars yeah um and the second prize is oh it has some forged barbecue skewers and then we have the second prize is a fire pit package with uh, forged wiener sticks with stands and the third prize is bistro set with two cooler cans. Okay. Which you can put any kind of bottle, a can, and mm-hmm. whatever how, you're drinking. How long have you guys been doing this spring into Marshall? This will be our third year. Okay. So what happens? You you raise the, the funds and then you are able to buy the plants? Or you- um, we're able to use the money to buy either the plants or extra dirt if we need dirt or the equipment and whatnot needed to help do a garden yeah. and like more hose and trowels and shovels yeah, and there's stuff like always that always something to there's six of you so who plants we all do we, all we do and, and we get the community the, the no no we get the community no. involved yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. we the have kids little kids come out and plant. pulling the tomatoes out of the cups and plunking them in and <laughs> yeah we had a real what do you call it uh there, there was about, I think, there. 20 of us all last year out there plant. I think maybe even more, yeah. um, out planting everything last year, and it's a, it's a great time. We when ha- when we do ha- you guys do that? Um, well, we're waiting for it to stop raining so we can get in there and work up the garden. And waiting for the, so there's nights no frost. Yeah. 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 Well, they usually say May long weekend is, you can start planting, but... It felt like May Long was a little early this year. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, usually the new moon is what they say after May Long. Oh, after May Long, the new moon. <laughs> you should have asked Wendy that when yeah, you had I her on the show. I should have, actually. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of things I realized I should have asked Wendy after well, she was... you have to have her on again. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's exactly it. Yeah, so this will be our third year, and, uh, yeah, we usually have a lot of fun. And... So when it comes to harvest season, though, Mm-hmm. Like, do you guys just generally, like, is, just, if anybody in the community needs tomatoes, they can walk out and pick yeah, a tomato? Yeah, or absolutely. Is it, go pick mm-hmm. a bag of tomatoes or yeah. pull up a hill of pep, or tomato, or pep, potatoes. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. After uh, last year, we had a poutine 
evening where people came down and then all of a sudden we were getting donations for hamburgers and and everything that people could just come down and just donate what they want and yeah have we a poutine had a night. poutine That's night the with the potatoes and, a, and stuff like that and it that was all by donation yeah. and people were able to come out and have a burger and poutine is that what you guys mostly plant the potatoes well we we're it seemed that way how many hills would you have how many hills would you have well what did we oh. have last year I think it was 30 hills. No, 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 there was way more. I think I it was think over like 300. So. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a that lot. Many? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they they got lost in the weeds. You didn't, weeds did, you didn't realize what you signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, they they I blend together we, after yeah. a while. <laughs> I didn't yeah. think that many. Yeah, we did. I okay. remember. <laughs> yeah. Does it feel like you guys are growing lots. this? Uh, yeah. The well, garden we, and spring into Marshall. Yes, they're kind of a, you know, together thing. I think so. More people are getting aware of it, and we're, which will help bring a, bring more stuff to the garden and more stuff, more help, more more supplies, and uh, we can put keep putting on the event every year. And yeah, we had a environmental company donate a bunch of fruit trees and a couple apple trees and some six cherry six nine cherry trees and yeah some. Pass cap, so we're, it's going to be fruit, vegetables, and herbs, and you know, and hopefully a great place for people just to come and relax and maybe bird watch and that. And we want to get the kids down making rhubarb leaves, stepping stones for paths in the garden, and bird houses to make. And yeah, you mentioned has cap, that's kind of a Saskatchewan thing, isn't it? Well, it seems like a Saskatchewan thing. Yeah. But man, is it good jam. Mm -hmm. It makes really good jam. Yeah. When you freeze the berries and after taste them, oh. Yeah. They're pretty I, good. I feel like that, like, I don't remember being Hascap berries when I was a kid. Do you guys? Um, I actually don't really remember eating them very I often. I, I, I don't remember, but I think they're creating new things that we could grow in our... Like Wendy said the other day, yeah. Yes. Yeah starting to grow a little more. Yeah. Um, more details about the uh, raffle. When's the draw and where can you get a ticket? Okay, you can buy tickets um, from any of us uh, community members. You can email us at our... At springintomarshall at gmail.com. And yeah. there also is some being sold right now at Honda, at um, all of the desks at Honda. Um, occasionally they're available at, at Velocity Trucking, our truck center, and everywhere in Marshall as well. Okay, and I've seen you around town. Yeah, yeah. and we sometimes, yeah. 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 When's well, the job? It's uh, on June 1st at 11 p.m. Oh, it's gonna be the, on so the Saturday. So we'll be also selling all day at the event and at the dance up until a winner. Winners But this selected. Saturday as well. Yeah. Yes, we will be at the Lloyd uh, X grounds, the with, south side parking lot. With Lloyd Minster. Motor Club. Yeah. yeah, we'll have a tent set up there. They're having their event happening with a barbecue and a bunch of vehicles coming out. And we'll be there as well selling tickets and enjoying seeing everything they have there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I'm forgetting to ask about uh, Spring into Marshall? Just thinking. Um, oh, we're going to have like a horse and wagon ride from Do It Again Ranch. Oh yeah, um, yep. The games for the kids. Um, There's gonna be a silent auction as well. Yes, silent um, auction the at event. the dan dance. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just buy, you just get into the dance with ten bucks. No ten dollars. Yeah. Uh, Twelve and under are free. Twelve so under are free. Uh, it's a great time for families to come. Parents can go off and do their thing. Kids can enjoy running around, drawing um, hopscotch type things on the floor. on the rink floor and. Um, we, with some chalk? Yeah, we have a little area set off for them where there's um, chalk and coloring books, crayons, juice boxes, yeah. and and what else? Oh, the glow-in-the-dark bracelets. Yeah. yeah. So we're thinking of everybody. Okay. So even you and Heather, you guys, come on up. <laughs> yes, it's the so more the much fun. We love the party. They're a cover <laughs> band, so they yeah. play yeah, very such good band. variety of music. That They're really awesome, awesome. To, to listen to, yeah. for sure. And they get the crowd involved. And yeah. and all of the information also can be found on our Facebook page at Spring Into Marshall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? 
I think that about sums it up. Yeah, I think so. We did pretty good. Well, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for thank having you. us. Absolutely. Uh, we'll be back with you on uh, Thursday, and we're actually taking the show on the road on Thursday and uh, heading to Holy Rosary High School because uh, they're going to be hosting their own farmer's market. So we're going to get the details about the farmer's market and about uh, how the kids are getting involved with that farmer's market. That's Thursday morning around 10.15 at Holy Rosary High School, and we will talk to you then. Thanks for joining us.